to multiply some more decimals using the grid method. This time we've got two decimal numbers instead of one. So just as they before, I'm going to partition them. So it's 4, 0 0.3, and 6, and 0.4. I'm going to start here. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 3 is 18. So 6 times 0 0.3 is 10 times smaller, it's 1.8. 4 times 4 is 16, so 0 0.4 times 4 is 1.6. This one's a little trickier, I've got 0 0.4 times 0 0.3. Now I know that 4 times 3 is 12. So 0 0.4 times 3 would be 1.2. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 is 0. 0.12. And if you're unsure of this one because it's a bit tricky, a good tip is just to just to write the numbers down and you can see what is happening. So 4 times 3 equals 12. 0.4 times 3 equals 1.2. That's 10 times smaller. 0.4 times 0.3 is 0.12 which is another 10 times smaller. So if you're ever stuck on this one, a good tip is to write them down. And all I've got to do is add the numbers up. So I have 24. Again, just to make sure the decimal point's in the right place, I'm going to put one at the end of my 24. 1.8, 1 1.6, and 0.12. And if we add those up, making sure in the correct columns I have 2. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Carry the 1. Make sure my decimal point's in the right place. Four, five, six, seven, and two. So my answer is 27.52. Have another go. Got 3.5 times 7.8. So partition first. Three, 0 0.5, 7, 0 0.8. Seven times three is 21. Seven times five is 35. So times 0 0.5 is 3.5. 8 times 3 is 24. So 3 times 0 0.8 is 2.4. 5 times 8 is 40. So if we think of the pattern room before, it would be 4, 0, 0.4. And all I've got to do is add up those numbers. 21, 3.5, 2.4, 0.4. Zero. So we can ignore the zero. Five plus four is nine plus four is thirteen. So it's three. Carry the one. Make sure my decimal point's in the right place. One plus three is four. Five, six, seven, and two plus nothing is twenty-seven point three, and that's my answer. So that's multiplying decimals using a grid method.